Ever wanted to know how to get add-ons or modifications onto an iPad, iPhone, any bedrock edition? I'll teach you how. Hey guys, it's Chad. Recently I was at a mind fair and one of the people who asked me uh, if I could do a video on how to get add-ons or modifications onto an iPad. And it's been super uh, simplified in recent years with the addition of the .mc pack uh, add-on extension. And you can really do it without downloading any like third-party apps, any, any extra apps. Uh, you can just do it by you know, browsing on the internet and getting a add-on onto your game. So this should be the definitive answer on how to get add-ons or modifications or mods onto a iPad, iPhone, any of the Bedrock Edition uh, games. So here I am on my iPad. This is actually the iPad, so I'm not even using the Windows 10 version or anything like that. So uh, you should know exactly how uh, to do this. So first, you just want to make sure that you've opened up Minecraft at least once. If there's a brand new iPad, make sure that you at least open up Minecraft and sign in uh, or whatever. So uh, just make sure you've done that. Next, head on over to Safari. And this uh, should work in uh, basically like every version. So iPhone, iPad, even Android, this should work just fine. So uh, what you're gonna be doing is uh, heading over to MCPEDL, and if you haven't heard of this site, it's basically just a repository for a whole bunch of different add-ons. And uh, you can also dig in a little bit more. So we're gonna be clicking mods at the top and then specifically choosing add-ons on the drop down menu and then you can even uh filter in a little bit more so we definitely need to make sure that it has an mc uh dot mc pack uh, but you could also search by the most popular of this week or uh whatever like that um so i'm gonna just uh go ahead and find an add-on that i want so this add-on is a trophy stand uh add-on so it'll add these little trophy stands that i can add little uh, items to, so little uh, trophy things uh, in my world. Now, before I get started, I do want to make sure that you read everything that there is to read about this add-on. So how to use the stands, specifically mentions we have to enable sp uh, experimental mode and then you can spawn the, the stands in your world uh, and whatnot. So I'm gonna teach you how to, generally how this, how you would install an add-on. So at the bottom of this page, there should be a link right here, download resource and behavior packs .mc add-on. That is the thing that you need. Uh, the .mc add-on is the file extension for any of the add-ons that you're gonna be adding into Bedrock. Word of warning, big word of warning. You need your parents to help you. Uh, if, you if you're if you at this stage and you feel like you're uh, old enough, I would err on the side of having your parents uh, help you out here because the, the this site links to external sites that could really have anything. And a lot of them, uh, like this one in particular, will go through an ad fly link, which can be confusing to people. Uh, there's a whole bunch of ads on this. This is how those content creators make money. So uh, don't be surprised if you see lots of ads, if ads are confusing. This one is giving me dating videos, super sketchy that they would put these type of ads on children's content. You have to click skip ad in the corner uh, to go to uh, the next thing. And most likely they're hosting it on a Mediafire link or some type of Dropbox link or something like that. But this is definitely a file on the internet. So you should be very wary about what you are doing and make sure that you have your parents' permission before downloading things to your iPad because not everything is vetted and not everything is looked after. So you really gotta be cautious here. Once uh, this happens to be a Mediafire link and there's this download button, the green download button, ignore all of the ads and that green download button is what you're gonna want. Sometimes ads can look similar to that green download button. So once again, get your parents permission and uh, have them uh, help you out here. So we're just gonna click download and what it's gonna do is it's going to open up a new web page. Because you can't really download things on an iPad or an iPhone, uh, it's gonna just give us this web page that says open in Minecraft. Uh, and that's exactly what we want. So we're just gonna click that open in Minecraft uh, link. It will open up Minecraft the game. 
it will tell us at the top of the game that it is imported, or that it's starting to import that uh, add-on, and it'll tell us if it successfully did it or if it failed. It may fail because uh, the add-on wasn't written correctly or that it's for an older version of the game. Now, I always suggest whenever you're adding add-ons into a world, start with a fresh new world. Because a lot of times add-ons will change existing things in the game, and you really don't want uh, maybe your favorite dog or something to be changed irrevocably and can't be changed back. So we're just gonna go ahead and create a new world. I'm gonna go ahead and put myself in creative mode, and I'm gonna name this trophies. And then just as the instructions suggested, we are going to turn on experimental gameplay. Now, the last thing to actually get this add-on into your world, you'll see add-ons uh, on the sidebar here, and there are resource packs, so we're gonna add the resource pack, and we're also going to add the behavior pack. Resource pack is just texture pack to make sure that the trophies will look right, and then the behavior pack is what actually changes the items in the game so that it can be modified and uh, be different. So there are two different packs. We're gonna go ahead and click create and wait for this world to generate. So here we are inside of Minecraft. Looks like we have a little starting world. I'm in creative, so I can just fly around or whatever. Now, if you remember, as we were reading in uh, uh, on MC uh, PEDL, that uh, it did say that you could trade villagers for uh, this trophy, but because we're in creative, we can just go ahead and search for stand, and there is a uh, egg here that is spawn new uh, stand. So that summon egg uh, will be what we need in order to get this to work. All we have to do is click on the ground and there we go. Now we have this really, really cool looking uh, trophy stand. And all you have to do is find a compatible item to uh, place in it. I'm going to reiterate why uh, it is so important to read the uh, post on uh, MCPEDL, uh, because down here it mentions all of the things that can be added. So a dragon egg, nether star diamond, toad of oven dying, those sorts of things can be added. Anything that's not in this list that this mod maker uh, added can't be added uh, onto the trophy stand. So we're gonna find some of those. So we'll add some, uh, let's do some diamonds. Um, finally, another star. Okay, so uh, with this, whoops, I dropped all my diamonds on the ground. Uh, you can actually move the uh, the trophy stand around by just bumping it. But uh, all you have to do is take your little uh, pointer, hover it over the stand, and it says add item. And there you go. Now I have that cool trophy in there. So we'll add a few more. Let me add my nether star on there. Whoops, I missed. There we go. Adding another star. Let's do the the head, and why not, another diamond, diamonds are awesome. So there you go. So now I have just added something that isn't in the normal vanilla game of Minecraft, a modification onto the game, using the Minecraft add-ons as a way to do it without downloading any other weird program, no other application, just the, the browser built into uh, the iPad, uh, and this, once again, can be an iPad, iPhone, uh, anything like that, iPod Touch, that sort of stuff. There you have it. One thing to note is that uh, if you are on a Xbox or a PlayStation or a Switch, uh, you don't really have a good browser in order to import this on into your game. So you're a little bit out of luck if you're on those type of platforms that make it really, really difficult to get that .mc pack over to your game. So sorry for you guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching this episode of OMGCraft. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a like, leave a comment down below letting me know your thoughts, and also make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications for future videos, tips, tricks, tutorials, and spotlights here on OMGCraft. Bye!